Hi guys, in this video we will be using our new Google program, our drawings program, again coincidentally named Google Drawings, and we use it to do a lot of graphic art design. In our case, we're going to be drawing cartoons with them. So in order to get to this website I'm on right now, you need to go up to your search bar and type in drawings.google.com. Okay, so we're going to be drawing a face once we get there. So the first thing I want to do to our Google Drawing is give it a proper title. So right now it says Untitled Drawing. I'm going to change that to My Face. Okay, so now we want to draw a face. In order to do that, it's going to be a whole bunch, a uh, bunch of shapes and lines. And Again, to make a shape, we would go to the Shapes button, and you have lots of different choices for the shapes to make your face out of. So in our case, we're going to start with just a blank, empty face, and the shape we want to use is under that first menu, and we're going to use the oval, so a big, long, circular face. We're using an oval. So once you click it, you click and drag to create your face. So again, it's a big, empty, blue face. Okay, well, it's a blue face. That's one thing you have to fix first. So again, if you click on your oval or your empty face, and you go up to your paint can or your fill color, again, right now it's blue, and you want to choose the closest color you can to your skin tone. And again, it's not going to be perfect, and it's a cartoon, so that's kind of the point. So I'm going to choose light orange three. Again, it's not my exact skin tone. Again, some people will be darker, lighter. It doesn't matter. It's a cartoon. Okay. Okay, so I have my empty face. Now I'm going to start with my eyes. Well, again, just like my empty face, again, your eyes are circular or oval in shape. So we're going to use another oval. And I'm going to start with just... Again, I guess this would be my right eye or left eye if you're looking at it. And I'm going to start with the outside part of my eye, which is the white of your eye. Oh, nice announcement. So the white of your eye. So I'm going to change that to white. So that's the outside of your eye. And your eye has two more parts. There's the white of your eye. And inside the white of your eye is the colored part of your eye which is called the iris. Again, I have brown eyes, so my eyes are going to be brown. So I'll change the color of that oval to brown. So there is a third part of your eye, again, the black little dot in the middle, which is called the pupil. So I'm going to draw another circle. I'm going to change it to black. OK, so that's a pretty small circle. So what I'm going to do right now is zoom in on my drawing. Sometimes when you're doing it from far away, making small little adjustments will be hard. So I'm going to zoom right in. That's a little easier. OK. So now I have all three parts of my eye. OK, the first thing we're going to notice, and all three parts of your eye are different shapes. So if I move the white of my eye, only the white of my eye will move, even though I may have wanted to move everything. So what we're going to do right now is what's called grouping. So I'm going to group or glue all three parts of that eye together, because that'll make it easier to move and make bigger and smaller. OK, so the way we do that is we first click on the black pupil. Then we hold down the shift key. So we hold down the shift key and click on the brown of our eye. Then we're going to hold down the shift key again, again, not letting go of it. And we're going to click on the white of the eye. So now you're going to see that little blue line around all three parts of your eye. Now they're all glued together. OK. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to alt click on your Chromebook or right click with the mouse. And we're going to choose group. When you group something together, you glue all three parts of it together. So now when we move the white of our eye, everything moves. And if we made it bigger, everything gets bigger. We make it smaller, everything gets smaller. Okay. 
So we've already made one eye. Most of us, ideally, have two eyes. So again, it makes sense not to do it all over again and just to copy and paste it. So I'm going to copy and paste. And then there's my second identical eye. Perfect. Okay, so we made two eyes. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is the line tool. And you have a whole bunch of different lines. And the one I like to use is called scribble. It's the last one in the list of lines. And it's kind of like a pencil. And, it, and it's for doing little features where you want a little more control. So if we're doing something like eyelashes or maybe individual strands of hair, or in my case, I'm gonna draw a nose. There's my nose, very cartoonish, I know. Again, I'm not gonna claim to be the best artist in the world, but there's my nose. Okay, so again, scribble comes in handy if you wanna make little tiny detail changes. Okay, I'm going to make a mouth next. Okay, so there's a few ways. Again, you can make it using an oval, or you can use the moon shape. Because if you draw a moon, again, you'll notice it's kind of like a smile on its side. I just need to turn it to the left. And to turn a shape, you have to look for the outside circle right here. And you click and you drag it like so. And now we have a smile. I'm just gonna change that to white for teeth. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is, again, to do hair. Again, hair can be very difficult, but again, we can do a simple type of hair with another line tool called the curve. So I'm gonna use the curve tool, and I'm going to kind of trace my head. And every time I make a turn with the curve tool, I have to click, 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 click. And I'll do just the simple kind of hairline and with the thing with the curve tool is you have to stop where you started so you come all the way back to where you started with your curve tool and if you did it properly it'll click together and the shape will fill in if the shape doesn't fill in you may have made a mistake and have to do it again so i'm going to change it from blue to brown because i have brown hair and there's a very simple face okay try to make that yourself